Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Ma, and today we have a special guest, Carolyn, who is also a mom. Um, before we go ahead and uh, talk to Carolyn, my friend here, um, I just wanted to give you a quick update uh, about Ben. The last video we did, he was in the hospital, and since then he has discharged himself from the hospital. That is his choice, that is his journey, and I will get more into detail in a future video. So right now, we're going to talk to Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Sandra. How are you? I'm good. How are you good, doing? Good, thank you. I'm so glad you're here and that you're willing to share some of thank your you experiences. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. Um, Carolyn is a mom of an addict. Carolyn, what would you like to share to other loved ones? We know we're not alone. We know Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. Um, I think what I'd, I'd like to share is how necessary it is to surround yourself with like-minded people, uh, whether they're moms, whether they're dads, whether they're aunts, uncles, mm. siblings. It's, it's so necessary to be around people who understand what it is that you're going through. Right. Uh, Sandra and I today are up in Blue Mountain um, attending a conference for a program that we both work. And it was so lovely yes. to be able to meet you in person today. Finally. Yes, yes. 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 It's, it's been Zoom up to this point, yes. so this is this has been a wonderful experience. I've been following Sandra and Ben's mm. story since the beginning. I, I had the pleasure of, of meeting Sandra on um, Zoom shortly yeah. after COVID started when we started taking our meetings online, so. And I just want to interject just for a second, although COVID has sucked and the addiction rate has gone up and deaths, overdose deaths and deaths by suicide, uh, one of the positives, our meetings and that we have people on our meetings from all over the world because we do Zoom. Absolutely. So for loved ones, there are support groups online. For so. sure, and, and probably mm -hmm. even more now. Oh, uh, Pre-COVID, yeah. we were lucky to be able to attend one in-person meeting a week. Mm -hmm. um, since COVID and because of the Zoom platform, we can attend meetings whenever we need them. Mm -hmm. We can attend them daily. And I say whenever we need them because sometimes you know, I've, I've been working this program now for about four years, five years. Um, and there's some weeks where I need more meetings than just <laughs> one. So yeah. it's it's great to know that I do have the ability now to just hop on a virtual meeting yeah. to get what it is that I need. And on yeah. days where things are really excellent, I can jump onto a meeting and give. And I, I just want to say, I've gotten to know Carolyn online and uh, I've always said this, you crack me up. Um, your check is in the mail. <laughs> your check is in the mail, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, but, you know, and we it's a family. Um, we're with like-minded people, like you mentioned, and there's no judgment. So we're sharing this because we want loved ones who, and we know we're not alone, and we know because of our meetings, you're not alone. So um, what would you say is one of the biggest lessons you've learned? Even today, something you might have heard today at the conference or recently. I, I, I'll answer that in two parts. So one of the things that that has been so life changing for me is initially starting this program and realizing that I wasn't alone. I mean, I spent days balled up in a fetal position mm -hmm. crying thinking that nobody was experiencing or having to experience what it was that I was experiencing. Um, that nobody would understand. I had nobody to talk to, or so I thought. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, you know, working a program such as, as we are, um, I mean, people share their experience, strength, and hope, and you'll sit in a room and it's like, oh my God, that what that person is saying is my story. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at, it, it was so important to know that I wasn't alone. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to hear it, Oh, you're not alone. Yeah. But you truly yeah, know that true. you are not alone when people are sharing a story that you could have written. Yeah. Um, and I think one of the things that um, I'm taking away from today, um, I really like listening to uh, recovering, uh, those that are recovering from substance abuse disorder. Um, and we are lucky enough to have uh, been attending a, a conference this weekend and, and we had our own little meeting going. And... Um, there was a, a speaker from NA that was there and she said something that really clicked with me. She said, addiction wasn't a problem. Addiction was the solution. 
And that Ooh. sticks with me because, you know, we, we look at, you know, it, it, it makes sense to me now why there was so much confusion in the beginning. And it's like, you just don't understand. You just don't understand. And I was saying, yeah, you're right. Cause you're yeah. wrong. Don't do this. You're wrong. Right. But it wasn't a problem. It was, it was a solution. Or what a perceived solution to what it was that, that she was going on or what was going on in her life mm -hmm. at that time. And that really stuck with me today. Mm. And it also reflects the same thing for me. Right. Um, you know, it, it, we work very similar programs to, to what um, those with a substance use disorder work. It's a similar program. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's, that's just really stuck with me today. I don't yeah. know why. But we had a lot of great sharing. Yep. Um, I mean, just the energy in the room. Oh. A lot of tears. A lot of tears. A lot. Of, I got a lot of chills. Oh, absolutely. A lot of absolutely, chills. Absolutely, for sure, for sure. So I'm really, really glad that we came here today. Mm, me too. Uh, it's the first one that I've attended, me and as well. it won't be the last one. Me as well. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I feel very blessed uh, meeting Carolyn. It, it, it's bittersweet. Mm because we met because our loved ones have a substance use disorder, unfortunately. But I can say for myself, I feel I'm a better person because of it, mm. because it's given me an opportunity to work on myself. And that's one of the things that we have learned in our program. It's not about the addict, it's about us mm -hmm. and how we deal with it. And I don't know, how do you feel? Do you feel that you're a better person because of it? I know like it, it sounds kind of, mixed up hearing it like I'm saying it and I know there's a lot of people that don't understand it because they're not living it but as someone who's also living it I didn't think there was anything wrong with me <laughs> I mean really I'd, I'd managed right. to get to the age that I was at you know I hadn't been hospitalized mm -hmm. I hadn't killed or you know I done hadn't anything done bad. anything yeah and I didn't die so I right. figured it you know at least I had the knowledge to kind of get through life and I thought that I was you know pretty smart um, I thought I knew good from bad, right from wrong, but I didn't realize um, that I did need to make change. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, though addiction is what brought me to the rooms, um, because at that time it was just one more ball that I was throwing in the air that I just could not, I just could not juggle one more ball. Right. So though it was addiction that brought me to the rooms, I needed this help. I needed to change the way that I think about things, the way that I perceive people, mm -hmm. places and things. I needed this program years before. So though addiction brought me to the room, it was me that needed the help. And I'm glad that I stuck around. They keep saying, you know, um, it works if you work, work it. it. So and, work it because you're, uh, you're worth, worth it. it. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Carolyn, so much for joining oh, us my pleasure. and sharing. My pleasure. And I hope that we can do it again in the future. Absolutely. Uh, I know I'll see you at least in person next year at the next conference. Yes. For sure. For sure. And one thing we know for sure, where there is breath, there is hope. Amen. Peace. Take care, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.